Hey everybody, it's Nickcap here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Titan forging, War forging, and Legion. Um, how, maybe what it should be like going forward, and kind of uh, talking about the pros and cons of it in a way. Um, Titan forging, well, I'll say Titan forging. I mean War forging too, um, for the most part, is uh, is a very polarizing topic because uh, you're usually in one or two camps on this. You're either a very casual player who usually probably hangs out with other casual players, and therefore you probably are more in for in favor of Titan forging because it's a cool way that you get like a really nice piece of loot randomly, and you might be very proud of that piece of loot. Like, hey, look, I got this really nice thing on. Um, it doesn't make me any better, but it, you know it's really cool. It gives me more health, gives me a little bit more damage, whatever. Um, so you know you know it's really cool for you. Now the other camp is like the high end players. Uh, most of the people that I associate with, uh, not all, but most, and uh, they really, really hate it um, because they don't like when a casual player has anything that's higher eye level than they do, um, is the crux of it. There, there is another thing uh, that they hate it for, though, and that is the uh, feeling that they need to go back and farm, like, hero let's say they're a mythic raider, the idea that they need to go back and farm uh, heroic to try to get a titan forge uh, to, to replace mythic gear with. Um, now, you don't have to do that by any means, but they do feel that way, be and I understand them feeling that way because there is other people that are doing it, like, religiously, so if you want to try to keep up with them, you know, keeping up with the Joneses type thing, you want to be the best, you want to have all the best stuff, then you do technically need to do it, and I do understand that way as well. I am kind of, you know, uh, a little bit odd in that I am kind of in the middle of it because uh, I do understand the really high-end people especially the second part I mentioned, being angry that they have to go back and farm Heroic. I know that's why I still do Heroic, for example, is maybe I'll get a Titan Forge, you know. Uh, and uh, But, you know, I have bad luck, so it doesn't really happen for me. So when it does finally happen for me, I'll actually be really pumped about it because I don't normally have stuff like that happen for me as far as the foraging up goes. So I'll be super pumped, and, you know, I'll, I'll be very happy about it. But, I, I, you know, there's people in my own guild that have two or three pieces of Titan Forge from Heroic already that they won't probably replace with Mythic unless that Mythic piece, you know, forged up. And I think maybe you can go, like, five item levels higher or something like that. But, you know, most likely they're not going to uh, replace that piece of gear that they got from Heroic. So, um, going forward, what would, I, what would I like to see? They've already kind of announced that they're probably going to cut back on the Titan Forging a little bit going into Battle for Azeroth. I think that's nice. Um, that makes that you know, even a little bit more rare to get it, to have it happen for you, which, you know, then if you're a casual player, you know, it'll be even more special for you uh, to have it happen. Um, hopefully, I don't think the high-end players are still going to like it because it doesn't matter if it's, you know, 100,000 people or one person. They don't want one person to have one piece of loot that's better than them. So they're probably still not going to like it, but I, I, I am in favor of keeping it, but uh, lowering... The chance that it could happen, which they said is going to happen. They've also looked ahead at the whole idea of weapons. Since we're not going to have artifact weapons, we're going to have weapons again, and they don't want those to Titan Forge at all, which is nice. I do believe they still, still said they're thinking about having a more Forge, but not Titan Forge. Um, and that's important because weapon damage is big, especially for melee classes, at least on the regular attacks. Now, I did read something uh, that they're changing the way a lot of abilities work, that they don't work on weapon damage anymore. And instead, they work on your attack power, which is going to be based on your strength, basically. So that is interesting. So maybe they are thinking about letting them forge up or not wanting to rework the way weapons work compared to everything else. And that way, your weapon damage won't really mean anything. It'll give you a ton more health because um, weapons typically, especially two-handed weapons, have a lot of strength and stamina on them. Um, and it will give you more attack power as well. But that's an interesting thing as well. So we'll see where that goes. Um, overall, you know, I, I like the system. I think I like rewarding casual players because without the casual players, we want to have a game. Both both are important. Uh, hardcore and casual players are both important. Hardcore players are important to keep the game relevant. Casual players are important to keep the game making money. So I see both sides of it, and I I think that um, people on the high end of, of the game could come to an agreement uh, for the casual people to not be so complaining about the Titan Forge system especially if they lower the chance of it. Um, let me know what you think about Titan Forging, War Forging, uh, and with your opinion, maybe what type of player you are as well, if you're a hardcore casual player. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about it, though, and everybody have a good one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. 
thumbs up and sub as always. Also comment below, share the videos, appreciate it so much. You can also check me out at Twitter at Wild Gaming Inc. and uh, at Twitch with the tag name Kneecap Killer. So uh, everyone have a good one and see you again soon.